Uh, hey, Dakota. Um, you know, good to uh, good to hear from you again. Uh, just kind of take us through. I mean, you, you got recording uh, in progress. Or you are hospitalized and that sort of thing. What was that experience like for you? Maybe kind of take us through that process. Yeah, I mean, uh, so I got COVID back in early November. Um, uh, had an article come out about it, I think, today. So uh, first couple of days, not too bad, and then obviously hit me pretty good. Ended up in the hospital with COVID pneumonia. Uh, came my butt for a few weeks, but got back in shape, and here we are, ready to roll. Lindsay? Hey, Dakota. Yeah, I was just wondering, I guess, along with your bout with COVID, just sort of coming off of that now and having different players um, test positive and, and never really knowing who might be in and out on a given week, I guess. Just for you personally, how do you sort of mentally roll with the punches and just kind of, you know, be fluid with the changes that are happening? Absolutely. Um, even before COVID was a thing, uh, a big uh, part of my philosophy was, you never know what's going to happen. Someone can roll an ankle, you know, someone can get nicked up and get ready to go. Uh, so with COVID, that's obviously been even uh, a, a bigger thing. You got to stay ready no matter uh, what day it is or what situation it is, uh, whether you're active, whether you're P-Squad, you know, elevate you, all those different things. Um, in today's NFL, you have to be ready no matter what. Hey, hey Dakota, um, do you have any lasting symptoms? I and mean, just what, what's it been like returning to football, I guess, and how have you been able to kind of do that so quickly? So yeah, uh, first couple weeks back, I, I would say the thing that I felt most was just getting my lungs back in shape, just with the, more so the pneumonia. Um, and then for a couple weeks, maybe just a little bit more tired, um, but also attribute that having a, a three-year-old and a five-month-old, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of factors there. Dave? I guess, Dakota, just kind of piggybacking off that question from Andrew, um, it, was, was your conditioning um, slower to come back the, than you might have guessed, or how did that go? Yeah, so uh, the way I explained it, uh, missing 10 days, uh, when I came back and was working out initially, especially like running, uh, it felt like I'd been off for like two months. Uh, so it just took a while to get that conditioning back in. Um, but, you know, the strength staff, the athletic training team did a really good job of helping me figure out how to take one step at a time and, and get back to being in good playing shape. Jeff? Dakota, you had mentioned, you know, being in the hospital with COVID pneumonia. That's something that for, you know, maybe a non-professional athlete can be fatal. So how, how scary was that experience being in the hospital and having to deal with that? I mean, that it definitely opened my eyes a little bit. Um, a lot of guys, and not just in the league, but you know, younger guys in good shape. You know, we've always heard, "Hey, you're going to do very well with this. Shouldn't struggle too much." Uh, but like I said, the first couple of days really didn't have more than a headache, and then uh, that night before I went to the hospital, just it all hit me really fast. Um, and I can remember sitting down, talking to my wife, and thinking, "Yeah, I have to go to the hospital." Uh, so it was really serious. My my daughter has had some um, respiratory issues, and so we've had a pulse oximeter in the house uh, the whole time and I checked mine and it was like 82 so not really supposed to go below 90 so that really kind of freaked me out a little bit so thank you for the care I had in the hospital. Chris? Um, during the, how many total days were you in the hospital and was there ever any period where you didn't know if you were going to be playing football again this season? Uh, never had a doubt about playing football. Um, after that first night there, um, the medications they gave me really helped out a lot. Uh, opened my airways back up a ton. So I think I spent three total days there um, and just been working to get back since. And if I could just ask you as kind of a follow up, I mean, take us through your season. How kind of frustrating was it maybe going to the practice squad after people been on the active roster? and then follow it up with now you're back in the active roster and what kind of role you think you potentially could play. Obviously, Aliudo is still on the COVID list. Yeah, I think that kind of goes back to Lindsay's question. Um, you've always got to stay ready. Uh, may not be what you feel is where you're supposed to be or anything like that, but if you take it you know, personally and say, oh, woe is me, and you know, put your head down, you could miss out on an opportunity that comes up later. So um, I've just really been focusing on staying ready 
uh, haven't approached any game day any differently. Even when I was on practice squad, I'd still warm up just like I'm ready to go out there and play. So you just got to be ready. Any final questions for Dakota? All right, thanks, everybody. Have a good one, y'all.